It is so hard to keep up with all the new vibe coding tools out there, but I keep hearing about Bolt.News V2, the new version of Bolt that people are using to build and ship real money-making apps. And also Bolt.New got married, got married to Claude Code. Claude might be my favorite LLM and Bolt.New just brought Claude Code into the browser so they can work hand in hand. I wanted to see if the hype around Bolt.News V2 was real. So I thought, hey, let's hit record and build something real fast. And what am I gonna build? Well, you know, I'm always launching, starting new businesses and I gotta get the word out about these businesses. Sometimes I use paid ads and sometimes I use PR, but does PR actually work? Can I automate PR? What if I could get an AI agent that I vibe code myself to go out there and tell the whole world that I am now open for business? So let's do it. Let's build a tool on Bolt.new using V2 that is basically a PR outreach robot agent. If this works for me, it'll work for all of you as well. And if it works for me, it's going to save me thousands of dollars on paid ads. So what do I have to lose? I'm going to ask this app to find relevant publicists and journalists in any industry. I'm going to have it write personalized pitched emails for me that are kind of funny and quirky and don't sound like spam. Remember, that's how I got Bucky's attention. I'm going to have him send these emails automatically while I sleep. And then I'm going to have it track the sending of these emails, how many are being opened, clicked, and replied to. Basically, I'm about to hire a PR person that only charges about 20, 30, 40 bucks a month. All right, without further ado, we're going to go to bolt.new. We've got V2. Here's my prompt. Build me a PR outreach automation app. I need a dashboard where I can input my company info and campaign details. The app should find relevant journalists, generate personalized pitch emails using AI, send them automatically and track opens and responses. All right, Bolt is off to the races. Okay, here's what it spit out. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. It fully executed my plan. It looks solid, but we're not done. We've got to connect it to some other tools so it can go out and do research on behalf of me. So I'm going to say, connect to OpenAI so it can analyze what journalists write about in this niche and generate personalized pitches that match their style. And this is a great case study. Now I know what it needs to connect to OpenAI, but you might not know. And so instead of having to know, just tell it what to do, and then it's going to tell you what to do in order to get to that final end goal. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate over here to the OpenAI API platform, just Google it. You can use your normal ChatGPT login credentials for this. And I'm gonna to go to quick start, create an API key. You can see I already have some for other platforms and I'm gonna call it bolt.new all permissions. Done, there it is. Let's go back to bolt. Okay, I did not know that bolt.new could do this. It looks like it has its own open AI package and I can just use Bolt's API. So I don't even need to go through the, the friction of getting my own API key. Although it was very easy. I just showed you how to do it. Most platforms don't do this, but it's kind of nice. I assume if I didn't want it to use GPT-4, I could ask it to use something different, but man, this is incredible. But now we of course have to start sending and tracking emails. That's a core function of this. So instead of telling it what to do, I'm gonna ask it what I should do next. So I said, okay, cool. How can I start sending them emails? Looks like it's going to use resend or send grid. It's gonna be interesting to see if it has a package like it does with OpenAI or if I'm gonna to have to go get the API key myself. Okay, looks like I have to get my own API keys from resend. Thankfully, I already have a resend account. Boom, copied. So now I have to add it to my Bolt database project. So you click the little gear icon, you click Bolt database, secrets, create secret, resend underscore API underscore key. There's my key, cool. So I'll let it know that it's been added. Okay, the resend API key has been added. Okay, so it says it's ready. Usually that means it's not quite ready, but we're gonna give it a test. So I tried adding the company info as requested, but it will not save it. So things break sometimes. If I wanted to edit this part out and make it all look perfectly, I would, but I want this to be real. Okay, so I'm going to log in to my own software. It was not connected to Supabase yet, which is just a, a database provider. So let's see if it lets me add company info now. Cool, done, awesome. Quick new campaign, call a journalist one. 
I'll make it kind of cheeky. The Kerner Office is the best business podcast in the world and everyone needs to know it. That's the angle of my pitch. Key messages, main points you want to communicate. Keep the pitch short, simple, and funny. Target publications, anything business. Now, because of the fact that this is AI, we can talk to it normally. We don't have to like choose a specific industry or publication like TechCrunch or CNN. We're just going to talk to it. Okay, quick break to tell you about something completely insane that I'm doing next summer. I am challenging myself to start 50 businesses in 50 states in 50 days. Yes, that's a new business in every state, and I'm documenting the whole thing. The wins, the failures, and the whole chaos of just trying to validate 50 different ideas in 50 different states. Canoe rentals, pop-up bakeries, power washing, drone roof inspection. Who knows? And if they end up becoming legit businesses, I'm going to need to secure the domains immediately. After starting 80 plus businesses, I've learned that you can have the perfect idea, the perfect market, the perfect timing. But if someone beats you to the perfect domain name, you're already playing catch up. You're going to lose momentum if you have to settle for business name 2025.com or some other clunky variation. Dot online domain names are where smart builders are moving right now. So while everyone's fighting over scraps in the dot com graveyard, dot online gives you exactly what you want. Clean, professional, memorable. Did you know that the word online gets searched over 500 million times per month? That's not just a domain extension. That's built in credibility. And right now, my listeners can use code Kerner to get their dot online domain at only 99 cents for the first year at get.online. So stop overthinking it and check out dot online today before your perfect domain is taken by someone else. So we've created a campaign, add journalists to your database or import from a list. We go to journalists, add journalists. Well, I don't want to add a journalist. I want it to go out and find its own journalist. Go out and scrape. 20 business journalists and add them to my journal. Go out and scrape 20 business journalists and add them to my journalist section. They must have name and email. Okay. So I understand it doesn't want to go out and scrape them due to privacy reasons, but I do have another video where I show you exactly how to scrape this stuff. So let's pretend that I just did that. Let's get some emails. But first I need it to allow me to bulk upload a CSV of journalist. So I said, allow me to click a button in the journalist section that lets me upload a CSV with three columns, first name, last name, and email address. Now let's start making that CSV. I'm going to type in sheets.new. I'm going to go first name, last name, email address. And I'm just going to put in some of my own email addresses and I'll change my name. So I know that these emails I'm getting are unique. So we got Chris, we got CK, we got CP and then CC. And I have four different emails and four different names. And then I'm just going to click download CSV. We'll go back here to bolt, go back here. Boom. Upload CSV in green. I like it. Color of Excel. I'm going to add this. There it is. That took like a millisecond. Very cool. All right, we've got journalists. Let's go back to our instructions. Generate personalized pitches using AI and send them automatically. We go to pitches. So another roadblock. My one campaign that I created is not appearing in the dropdown on the pitches tab. And I want to be able to select all on the journalist dropdown on the pitches tab. Because who wants to email one at a time? So one thing is broken and one thing is not optimized. So we got to get these fixed. Oh, so nothing was broken. It was just automatically set to only show active campaigns. And if you look here, it's paused right now. It's not active. So I needed to have clicked that green triangle first. So there it is now. And then select all journalists, generate pitches for all four. Let's see what it's got. So this button really should say generate and send pitches for all four, because I think with that one click, it automatically sent them. As you can see right here, we'll generate and send pitches to all four journalists. Let's click the play button on that because I don't think it will work until I click that. So select all journalists, generate pitches. Nothing's happening when I click the button. So I'm going to let it know. I love screenshotting stuff and just dragging it over there. It helps a lot. I mean, it helps me. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but it feels like I can get what I need in fewer prompts when I do that. There it is. I just said nothing happens when I click this. 
Okay, so basically what Bolt said is that this select all journalists checkbox is not talking to the blue button. So basically from the get-go, this software was not expecting to have to send bulk emails, but it's a no-brainer. Okay, it says it's fixed. This button will now work properly. We go to campaigns, it's still active. Go to journalists, they're still there. Boom, boom, select all journalists, generate pitches, generating pitch one, two, three, four. Failed to generate pitches. Please check your configuration. Screenshot, this happened after I clicked that button. It seemed to work at first, but then didn't. If we go to analytics, we'll show that nothing is happening. All right, it says it should be working now. Boom, successfully generated and saved four pitches as drafts using fallback templates. Configure API key for AI power generation. So I think what I have to do is add my API key in here. So I'm gonna to go to secrets, I'm going to type in open AI underscore API underscore key, put the key in there, create secret and let it know. I just added my open AI API key to my secrets, go find it so we don't use fallbacks. So it's working now, but it's not using the open AI API key, which I wanted to. And it successfully created the drafts, but I don't know how to, to read the drafts. Okay, so it said that it's working now. Let's try it again, but I can't read the drafts yet. Okay, four more drafts, but I can't read them and I can't send them. All right, it's adding the ability to view and send these emails. Okay, let's try this again. Select all journalists, journalists one, two, three, four. Boom, created. Let's view it. Hi, CC. That was one of the first names. Subject line, the Kerner office is the best business podcast in the world. I hope it finds you well, following your coverage. All right, so the prompt's a little wonky, but we can fix that. A little more prompting to fix the prompting. Send email now. That's the important part. It says my resend API key is not configured to send messages. Looks like I need a marketing email resend account. I'll pay for that. Now, will it automatically update my API key? I don't know. So I'm going to make another one just to be safe. Go back to my secrets. Okay. So I told Bolt, okay, I didn't have the right resend API to be able to send emails. That has been fixed and I added a new API key. Please refresh that so I can send marketing emails. All right, so it says it should now work. Generate pitches. All right, let's click send. Boom. Let's look at my email. All right, and look at that. Uh, it's too, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'll add a screenshot in. Screenshot, boom, email received, software works. So with uh, I don't know, 15, 20 prompts and reprompts, and in about an hour's time, we successfully built a PR app that will allow you to upload journalist emails, write the emails for you, and click send on all of them at the same time. Bolt.new is great, check it out. Share this with a friend, and we'll see you next time on The Kerner Office.